like everybody else does. Spend money like they're going out of fashion. I'ma eat bad food, go to the bad mood, just do what everybody else does. I'ma vote, choke, up in. I'ma hate cause you gotta hate something. I'ma toe the line, but provide my time and build it up till me can't feel nothing. I'ma lie, strive, deny to get ahead. And if it means backstabbing, I can do that. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the Late Night Stream. I'm your host, Scott Black. Thank you for joining me for another night. Uh, it is a Thursday night, uh, Wednesday night, so we're going to be doing our movie Watch Along tonight, which we're going to be doing the 1954 So Horrible It's Good and Kind of Horrible Again movie, uh, The Snow Creature from 1954. So check out for that. But uh, of course, you can follow me on all the social medias at Mr. Scott Black or uh, go to the website, Mr. Scott Black.com, which will be launching a new page soon. Uh, if you want all more details than that. But of course, last night we did uh, some back-to-back -back Saturday morning cartoons with um, Count Docula, and I put into chat DPT writer for the night to monologue based around Saturday morning cartoons. And when it got an A for the topic, it missed it on the funny, though tonight it's going to get a chance to redeem itself as I've pumped into it uh, a monologue for old movies. So this sh could go terribly or it could go either great because i have not actually had a look at it yet so let's kick over to the late night studio thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show that's dedicated to the art of cinematic disasters i'm your host the connoisseur of catastrophe and the sultan of the silver screen shenanigans and let me tell you tonight we're diving deep into the world of bad movies where the acting is wooden, the plots is thinner than a piece of dental floss, and the special effects are about as special as my collection of dryer lint. Now we've all had our fair share of movie-going experiences that left us questioning our own choices. I'm talking about those films where you find yourself checking your watch every five minutes, hoping for a miracle that never comes. It's like being stuck in a time loop with a remote control that's only just the fast-forward button. But trust me, folks, if Borden were an Olympic sport, these movies would take home the gold, the silver, and the bronze. But hey... Let's give credit where credit is due. Making a bad movie is an art form in itself. It's the, it takes a special kind of talent to produce a film that makes you simultaneously cringe and laugh until your abs hurt. This is like a roller coaster ride of emotions, except instead of adrenaline, you're left with confusion and a desire to never step foot in a movie theater again. But hey, at least you have a funny story to tell at parties, right? And let's not forget about the cast of characters that grace the screen in these cinematic train wrecks. We've got actors who deliver their lines like they're reading off a teleprompter for the very first time. It's like watching a high school play where nobody bothered to learn their lines and the director decided the emotion and subtlety were optional. I mean, who needs Oscar-worthy performances where you can have over-the-top melodrama that would make a soap opera star blush? But hey, bad movies are, uh, have their own special place in our hearts. They give us a chance to bond with our friends over shared disbelief. They remind us of the darkest cinematic times, and they're always a ray of unintentional comedy shining through. So tonight we're celebrating the creme de la creme of cinematic disasters. We've got clips that'll make you question the sanity of Hollywood executives, hilarious commentary from our resident movie boss, and maybe, just maybe, we'll unlock the secret to creating a blockbuster flop. All from the same movie. I added that line. Uh, it should uh, be going to an evening of laughter, disbelief, and newfound appreciation for good movies that'll make us forget the bad ones. So grab your popcorn, adjust your expectations, and get ready to laugh harder than a director trying to convince us that the latest flop was an intentional bad welcome to the show where we embrace the worst of the big screen and where the jokes are as bad as the movies themselves the only rule here is no razzies just laughter i would give that one definitely an a for the topic and we'll give it uh, six out of five six six out of ten sorry not ten uh so tonight we are going to be watching the the movie the snow creature from 1954 and of course i also asked ai to do up some posters because the ones that exist are already so terrible and those aren't the right ones those aren't the right ones at all eh, i could go back and fix that but uh, uh we're just gonna leave that we're gonna leave it there like a big matzo ball and get ready for our movie as you can hear kicking on in the background go to the movie screen Cradled within the arms of the rivers Ganges and Brahmaputra to the south, and the mysterious plateau of Tibet to the north, majestically stands the mightiest mountain range on the face of the earth, the Himalaya. This is the story of an expedition to this rugged barrier. It's the story of a mountain. Not to assault on its windswept, towering heights, 
but to find and study plant life, which had heretofore been unknown or inaccessible. But we thank you not to say anything. It's very sensitive. This is the story of that mission, of how a small group of people found themselves in pursuit of a crude and primitive civilization. The Kardashians. Which once only existed as a figment of the imagination. The Kardashians? Canada. Oh, snow creature. I knew that. Bit heavy on the drums. Starting from Los Angeles, California. And after careful study of the region. Stewardess, the there's a snow creature in my suit. Took me to Bombay, India. India, known for its snow. I think I left the oven on. We gotta go back. Bombay to, to Ohio, and our map driver could not figure it out. Of rock and ice. There I selected ten Sherpa natives to serve as porters. And three to My name provide stand-up comedy. Dr. Frank Parrish. But By I hope not to I am on a this trip. Working Parrish, at the Corey Foundation. To record the visual log of our expedition, I engaged Peter Wells, well qualified to serve as a photographer. And even better, sir, as that is guide, a bad I hired Subra, the only English-speaking Sherpa acquainted with the terrain. It wasn't actually a Sherpa, he just pretended to be for the, the lulls. Only the most essential equipment was selected and distributed among the members of our party. Sorry, Bob, you can't come. All preparations completed and everything on schedule. At noon on June 14th, we set out to strike at the mountain. Supra's young June wife, 15th, Tala, we said, Screw that, and his brother, back. Leva, accompanied us to the foot of the mountains before saying goodbye. You sure you won't come? Ah, uh, yeah, no. I hope you find someone that makes you happy. I'm already remarried. You're going to die up there. Ha <laughs> ha. First days were uneventful, monotonous, and tedious. We tried to make it done by thinking of songs and playing I Spy. I Spy with my little eye. It's a rock, isn't it? Oh, you're good. You yanking my chain? Bop, that joke's never going to be funny. But as we moved on to higher regions, the terrain became more rugged and difficult. And handsome. And interesting to talk to. Wells and I kept up with the Sherpas, who are much like human mules under the weight of our heavy supplies. So you call them a mule once, and they get really touchy about it. We continued on to a height of 10,000 feet above sea level, where I wanted to commence my work. To see if we could get to 10,001. At last on the day, we reached the plateau region. Otherwise known as the parking lot. Zubra, have your men pitch the tents. What did he say? I think it was gibberish. Up to this point, having established only temporary camps, everyone was eager for our first hot meal. Camp one was now well established. Except for a variety of common moss and crucifer flower, we found little of interest. This is the good stuff, but we anyway, put in secret stage, put, it, put it in burning later, it'll be days. fine. How about a shot? No, thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Doctor. Everything all right? Can't bother to say that. 
Everything's fine, Silver. Thank you. Alcohol good? Fine. Here, help yourself. That's pure gasoline. Yeah, you know the brand. Thank you, Mr. Doctor. Well, I'm no doctor. Want anything? Oh, thank you, Silver. I'll see you later. I fix nice hot supper. Wonderful tonic. Warms up the gizzards. Keep that up and you'll pickle your gizzard. Wells, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't hand out that stuff to any of the men and don't drink in their presence, understand? I'm pretty sure you made three okay. of them blind. Suits me. Shekhar, come in. Me. Come in, Shekhar. Dr. Parrish. This is Shekhar. Yes, For the doctor. last time, that's not a radio, Let me that's speak a barn to soap. Inspector Karma, please. So we'll get Inspector Karma. That night, I all murdered three well people in the town of Shekhar. Bigger job and Yeti, creature better personality, snow. better hygiene. That's why oh, he really you mean stole the it. abominable snowman, the phantom of the Himalayas, marauder of women. <laughs> oh, you knew all those names, we but you don't know Yeti. Find him. All the newspapers and magazines have carried stories about it from time to time. But yeah, the sheriffs have built this creature into a horror story. This isn't a hunting party. Thousands of dollars have been spent to finance this expedition, and he wants to chase a legend. Mr. Doctor, yes, you will, Mr. Doctor. No one's ever seen one. Oh, I know people have brought back that stories about these semi-humans. Oh, the whole thing sounds fantastic. Brother say, it is well, it's fantastic. Don't you want to see I'm it? I'm sorry, Sobra. Have your brother and his man join us if they want to, but we have other work to do. I didn't run you. Big sleeping jerks. My decision, I felt that Subra resented and disliked me. Mostly because I thought I stunk.
What do you think's going on out there? Well, it sounds like Subaru trying to be very important. I better find out. Oh, they got Taylor Swift tickets. I gave no order to break camp. You move. I'll tell you when to move. We move now. Subra, what's come over you? You sent some of our men away, didn't you? Only four of our men. Other four belong Brother Lever. Concerned with our men, now come back. They look this side of the mountain. We look the other side for Yeti. I'll shoot any man who doesn't obey. <laughs> you know can shoot. Uh -huh. taking our Teach car. you to take only one bullet. Subra, this is mutiny. Subra, take guns. All right. <laughs> Where do you intend to look for this creature? Everybody look. Rocky Valley Legion. Oh, that's ridiculous. This part is not equipped for that kind of thing. Subra, no care. Well, <laughs> may as well let him go. He no talked about himself in a third long. person. He definitely doesn't. He might as well turn back. Turn back. No can find a way. We move now. Well, I think I need a drink. Yeah, no, you need more than that. Drink. Wait a minute. Any day that ends in wine. Any joke, time that idea. ends in a number. You're out. Get packed. You're out. We move right away. Come on. Come on. Whether Wells and I liked it or not, we had no alternative but to follow along. First one's up the hills right there. It's the last one, you jerk. You shut your mouth, Jenkins. I'm sick of you, always stepping on, giving me a flat tire, stepping on my shoe, giving me wet wounds, spitting my coffee. All right, knock it up down there, we're turning back. Oh no, that's where the Eddie is. You think we could have put any dialogue over these seats? Nah, that would have cost too much money. I would just fade to black. Night time, the perfect time to die. Yeti wearing a car. Oh, that's not the Yeti. You could accuse me. They got the same costumer. Take it easy, Wells. Told you we're cuddling for warmth. Wait a minute. Can you hear something? Oh, sorry. That's no, me. Uh, ruddy wind. Got junk in my trunk. Definitely a bag. Oh, it's my scotch. Never mind that now. <laughs> Man's got his eye on the prize. There it is. Ah, yes. My narcotics. I hope haven't been monkeying with it. I don't think you can say that, that all right. hits from yesteryear with the Veronicas are coming up after the break. We're going to have your ice cold can of coke here on Mountain FM, the Yeti station. Shekhar, come in. Come in, Shekhar. Shekhar, come in. No, Shekhar, Shekhar come in. only Zoom. Uh, 
<laughs> I killed your baby. I only want to kill radio machine. But more than happy to kill both of y'all. Oh man, he made a fort in here. So sweet. I wanna play. Where's the scotch? No, wait a minute, that's my personal property. <laughs> like shut your radio, what do you think you think? <sighs> Mr. Doctor, better go sleep now. Big walk tomorrow. You too. You too. Come on. Come on. You're such a jerk. Take my drink when you get you when you least expect it. I hope the Yeti gets you first. If he does, he's gonna get me hammered. Well, yeah, that was radio? a dumb idea. No, nothing. I'll get it to work. We have each other. Get to check our Damn, police. We got nothing. Oh, I hope that so. hurts. Wells, have yourself a nightcap. I'll be right back. Oh, thanks, old boy. I will. And by that, cap, I mean I'm gonna scum the rest of this bottle. Daddy's gonna feel nothing tonight. Let's see, insert this one in the column A, and I made a coffee table. But I realized I was wrong. Well's case of scotch gave me an idea to get drunk and forget about the whole thing. You think I am? Yes, I am. I'm gonna pee in my pants. What was that? Hmm? The wind. There is again. Hey, oh, do you think Becky likes me, or just you know? Altitude's getting on your nerves. My nerves are all right. I better take a look. Oh look, it's dark. Yep, dark here. Dark there, and dark ever. Oh dear God! The wife's here. You be careful. I have a flashlight. I know how to shine things. Oh, what are you doing? We move now. I go. Don't you think you had enough last night? Look, we found snow. Let's gonna make snow angels. Super dramatic ones. Mr. Doctor, believe now. The Yeti. Yeti go up there. Uh, it could be a Yeti or it just, just be a big Oh, uh, I see what you did. Getting something? No, I no drank all your alcohol. The radio machine dead. So are you drunk? So drunk, you don't even know, man. You don't even. So drunk, I think I'm running from the Yeti. That's why we are running. Oh, you too, bro.
walk over that there. Hmm? Didn't see it? Didn't see that thing disappear? No. Gonna have to go back and rewind that check there. Look, we made it to the desert. This Lost trail. You didn't know What did you find? We found rocks. At sundown, he ordered the men to make camp. I still think it was a pretty mean trick, leaving my tonic behind. The tubes are all right, but the wires are broken. Oh, now you'll find out after depriving me of my... Wait a minute. I saw this guy one time who fixed one with some bubble gum. I feel good. <laughs> shot of the Yeti, so we're going to have to use it. How are we going to walk in and out of frame? I couldn't rest. Reverse it. Pause it. A legend. Reverse it. Play it. Reverse the it. The abduction of Subra's wife. The footprints. The death of the native. It All had to be connected. All began to fall into a mysterious pattern. The guy's not very bright, is he? Backyard. Come on, eh? Easy, QK. Okay. We rest here. You know, this, this altitude is beginning to get me. 
Uh, you wanted open. to come. I wanted to go to Applebee's. Probably be needing oxygen soon. Storm come. Need to find the shelter. Cross dock. I see your mum's butthole. <laughs> That's the fourth cave you've done that joke. One hour, maybe two. You going to Nika? How the heck? You two. You're going around in the pink? You two? Over the stink. Lucky thing for us, we found this place. Yeah, it would have been impossible in the tents with this weather. So, bro. I don't work for you yep. anymore. Very good. I'm already next to you, jackass. You know, you could be a very famous man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If we did find this Yeti and Brought him back to America alive. So we only want to kill Yeti. <laughs> Suppose you did kill one. How would you know it's the one you're after? If every horror movie with There's a white man Yeti, who didn't have a bad idea, wouldn't be any a horror movies. So they kill all Yeti. Still no care. Well, how far up do you intend to go? To the top of Everest or Annapurna? Maybe yes. Where are these creatures? Why has no one ever seen one? Yeti, him hide when smell human. But Yeti come low country when want to steal woman. Oh, well, how steal chivalrous. Woman. We'll go until we find Starting Yeti. Starting a girl band. I think they go to sleep now. Oh. Move over, my duck. Not, not enough cave here for you? It's too bad. What's too bad? I tried to get to that radio, but it's one of the sharpest packs. Well, we just have to wait until we see a better opportunity. Right now, I'm going to forget it and go to bed. She's a person. She doesn't belong to you. Yeti bring Tara here. We go find Tara. 
It took us days to get here. She I was only a the snow creature was not just a legend. I consoled myself with the thought that finding one would more than compensate for my failure as a botanist. Subra was a man possessed. He split the party, ordering the men to search the tunnels and to meet at the entrance of the cave. Yes, he, she wouldn't do that to herself. Now, this place gives me the creeps. Is it the bones or the giant feet that we're following? It's only an animal of some kind. Zubra! What is it? Mounting good. Let's go. Nothing good. Hey, he cuts right to the chase. Let's get the fuck out of here, white man. Yeah, he plays piano. Some bitch. Tara! Tara! You clumsy fool. Too busy thinking if he could throw that rock, uh, rock on him, he didn't think he could shoot. Stunned. He's not dead. Get him. Get him. Right. I'll give him a hypo to keep him quiet. Get a tarpaulin, we'll carry him in that. Go on. I didn't want to carry your lunches. You mean you think I want to carry a goddamn we found that the female and child of the snow creature had been killed by the cave -in. We held Subra and Leva at gunpoint and ordered them to carry the creature back to the entrance of the cave to meet the rest of the Sherpas. Go run. Tell your men to put up their hands. Step on the other side. Come on in. Now you must get that gun. One false move and I'll shoot. Tell that man to put the radio down. Radio all right there. Radio? I thought that release. was the booze. You tricked us. To establish contact with Shekhar, we started down, determined to bring the creature back alive. It died halfway down. I swear we've used this footage before. We just flipped it around. And we've used this footage before, too. This movie is cost effective. Who can sleep when we've got a Yeti? He snores. Oh, dear God, there he is. No, no, that's not him. Wells and I took turns watching. What are you going to do with make your sure chunk of wrong. Yeti? Well, get the 
I'm sorry, guys. Don't leave me like that again. I swear to God, if you do that one more time, I'm gonna have to cut you again. Let's swear, I'll cut you. I'll kill you on your sleep. We managed to keep the creature in a semi-conscious state, allowing him to come to only enough to take food. Yes, it did this. Tell my mom never so on the see fifth day, we reached the low land region. On the seventh day, as we jokes. were nearing the town of Shekhar, I decided to herd the natives straight to the police. I'm going to punish them for thinking of themselves. Cody Foundation, Los Angeles, California. Hi. Whom did you wish to speak with? Mr. Corey, Jr. Corey, Jr. Hi. Kochi emawashite kudasai. Hi. As I said, your foundation was granted permission to explore the Himalayas. Your discovery is of a very unusual nature, but it belongs to you, and you are free to do with it as you wish. The inspector kept repeating how friendly his country was and how it welcomed scientists, explorers, and so on. All while making I'm the sure you will accept motion. my government's apologies, and the natives will be held in custody here for taking the law into their own hands. Well, thank you. By the way, uh, can I keep the creature here until I can arrange for his uh, transportation? Of course. Oh, hell no. He's scarcely like ever living shit out of us. And, uh, could you give him an injection every six hours? Yes, we shall do that. Do you know any oh, other English? Way, but yes. Your guide wishes to speak with you. Subra? Yes. Oh, son of men. Oi, Subra, Surete Koi. Mr. Doctor, Subra. Subra no understand law. No can say if this yeti steal my woman. Nobody know. Dr. Karma, I won't prefer charges against these people. Would you like to mean that, Theo? Thank you, Mr. Duck. Thank you. Oh, forget it, forget it. I already what have. You, your name is... Hi. What? Hi. Your telephone call. Will you take it in the next room? Oh, fine. Come on, boss. Hi. Boy, I'm always to Hi. Yes, that's the idea. And please send the refrigerator unit as quickly as possible. Fine, fine. I'm leaving for Bombay immediately to take care of all the arrangements. You can reach me there, let's see, in care of the TWA office. Well, good. Oh, uh, would you please call my wife and tell her I'll be home soon? Good, thank you. They're sending us a refrigerator unit to transport the creature in, an air-conditioned affair. What's the matter with you? It's going to be a heavy thing to carry. What do you mean? Well, it's just this. I could get two or three thousand pounds for that photograph I took, and we should split that money between us. As far as the creature's concerned, well, we should sell him, and then... The, the photograph, do what you want with it. It's for the creature, he's going to the Corey Foundation, where he belongs. You've just got no business sense. An opportunity like this comes once in a lifetime, and you don't... Did your telephone call come out all right? Oh, yes, thank you. Claire is about. And if uh, anyone's I have to in on that 2,000 dollars, I'll be back in a few days. Would you see that nobody comes near the creature, including Mr. Wells? According to this cable, your temperature control unit should be here on our cargo flight at 8.40 this evening. Now, the cable says to handle it with the utmost care. Yes, it's very delicate. We'll have to rush it to Shekhar. I've already made all the arrangements to send it and the documents to you. We're going we'll to lose it, send it to office. Chicago, pick it up, bring it to Thank Australia, send it to the UK, lose it again, and eventually you'll get an old iPod touch. You're welcome. Follow your instructions. The injection worked fine. Here he is. Thank you. He doesn't look happy. Let's see. Uh, this unit will keep the motor running on route. Uh, this is the temperature control and the self-contained oxygen unit. Food traps. Oh, yes, the food traps. You American, manufacturing a contraption like this on a phone call. Well, I better be going. Thank you uh, what was I supposed to do? Have Use the internet? Please die in your own country, not in ours.
big wheels for a big foot. exist anymore but is a plane well wow, that's one of a plane shut up cat i'm leaving you hello frank no. hi you i forget his name hello mr cory glad to see you how are you well, instead yeah, of yeah. flowers, I brought you a Yeti. That's what the natives call him. Oh, where is he now? Well, he should be here. I sent him ahead on a cargo plane. Really? Yeah. Which one of you is Dr. Parrish? Well, I am. Hold on his pretty girl, Doctor, and give us a big smile. Thank you. I'm the Chronicle, Doctor. You heard the story about the snowman? In just a minute. I just got here. I haven't even talked to my wife. Now, gentlemen, you can reach Dr. Parrish at the Foundation later. Dr. Frank Parrish. Dr. Frank Parrish. Come pick up your Yeti from the, the, the baggage claim. Well, which way is it? easy enough to find out. Come on. Right. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'll talk to you later. Tell my wife I'll see her in three years. Well, there it is, darling. Mr. Corey, what do you think of it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I see where you classify your import as a snow creature. That's right. Well, it's necessary that we clarify its immigration status. Immigration status? I don't understand. Well, the question is, is it a beast or a man? Well, he's not human, if that's what you mean. He's Do you know both. Mr. Peter Wells? Oh, yes, he's my photographer. No need to label him. This article came to our I've already put him in a box. I've already well taken away the stigma. Oh, he's already got a picture of him. Funny, I don't remember giving a picture. Well, that's ridiculous. Wells is a photographer. He's reaching for sensation. This creature is definitely not human. Mr. Fleet, certainly your department isn't going to take this photographer's word literally. Well, this is a very unusual case. This is a very unusual find. Do you realize what this means to science? That's why our department was interested enough to contact a prominent anthropologist, Dr. Louis DuPont. Dr. DuPont? Of course, I've heard of him. He, he makes well plastic. He's qualified to substantiate Dr. Parrish. Unfortunately, he can't be here until 7 o'clock tonight. You will be in my office at 7 o'clock. Of course. This will have to stay Tell in the me, warehouse. Talk to me like there. that. We've studied the instructions on the refrigerator to be properly connected. Well, I guess it'll just have to wait. We'll see you at 7. Come on, Doc. You are stepped of immigration. Nailed it. Do I get to stay? The department's main interest is to classify this specimen, as you call it, as not being human. Dr. Parrish. Yes, may I? Of course. I'm a little early. Well, that's all right. Dr. Parrish, Dr. DuPont. Oh, how do you do? How do you do, Doctor? Has Mr. Corey been? Doctor, uh, doctor, yeah. doctor, doctor. Sit doctor. Down. Well, thank you. Cigarette? Well, thank you. What an unusual find for a botanist to make. Yes, it is. And you say you also saw a female and a child? That's right. Well, I did. Have you seen the specimen? Before they went to east. No, not yet. Well, we will as soon as Mr. Corey arrives. He called and he should be here any minute. I have said this creature is not human. I didn't say he was. And I heard you. I have you. to determine whether his brain is a calculating brain. And from that, narrow down all of the theories. He needs to know three plus three. Yes, I understand. From what we know of these, shall I say, snow creatures, they have been a legend. We have seen abstract drawings and heard stories of these nomads, but they were always associated with human traits. I want out. I want out. I farted and it smells in here. Yeah, you're in big 
trouble, Nestor. Bad Yeti. Excuse me. He's not bad. He's just misunderstood. What? How? We'll be right over. The creature has escaped. What? Let's get over to the warehouse. He started to move in that thing. Then he started to shake it, and it fell. He got out, and I started to run for my life. A sight I'll never forget. Come at me and I, uh... Well, I... Mr. Police, I peed myself. I probably I'm pooped. Lieutenant Dunbar, police. And, and then I fell asleep. Dr. Parrish. What's this all about? God damn it, monster. Stop kidnapping people. About eight Where's feet tall, right hairy, over. likes Come to kill on, people. Doctor, you can give it to the department first hand. That's all, Evan. Send it out right away. Would you come with me a moment, Doctor? Oh, certainly. Right doctor, 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 and doctor. Car 61. Come in Where are you? <laughs> Get Car it from 61. that show. That was 54, you idiot. Dunbar. Dunbar, go ahead. Body of a girl found in the alley back of 1220 Coast Street. Repeat. Real pretty. Can I keep her? An alley back of 1220 Coast Street. Over. Got it. Out. You hear that, Doctor? I better come along. I think you'd better. Oh, Mr. Fleet. When Mr. Corey gets here, brief him on everything, will you? I'll see you later. Man, we're going to get in so much trouble. Trouble jerk. I had tickets to Taylor Swift. You did not lie. You didn't get tickets. Just a hairy dude. Hey. Oh, Lieutenant. What's you doing, Richards? Oh, you, you know, typical bed. night. Yeti That's out. Right. Vampires are loose. Those Zombies have come back from the dead. Mother-in-law is still with him. Oh, Mother-in-law is totally worse My than the other. My wife and I are having a baby. That's all. Oh, was that all? This way. Oh, thank you, Charlie. No, no. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we are this is not here. Oh, here's Coast Street where the girl was killed. The distance from here to here is about, say, uh, three miles. About two and a half yeah, inches. It's not to scale, well, idiot. It's strange to me that nobody reported seeing him from the time he left the warehouse till he arrived at Coast Street. I was late, hardly anybody on the streets. I guess so. He's got to be stopped. Rip not hugged. Stop, Understood. Loved a little bit. Is there something else you can tell us about him, Doctor? His mentality, his habits, something? Well, I've only known him a couple days, but he seems shy and kind of an idiot. We know all that. A 
Send out this bulletin to all radio stations and newspapers. Tell everyone to stay off the streets and remain calm. That goes for everybody. Right. Well, what do we do now? There's nothing we can do, except wait for him to show up again. Hey, we found your Yeti. Oh, no, no, sorry. College basketball player. Locked and loaded. <laughs> There's your news, you bastard. Oh, look. Lottery numbers. Man, my wife's leaving. Attention, all citizens. This is an urgent public service bulletin from your police department. Baba Boo. A dangerous killer beast is at large. You are asked to remain indoors. This is an urgent public service bulletin. Tell me what to do. Citizens. I got amendment rights, you see. A dangerous see. killer beast is at large. No mask, no yeti. Conspiracy. Yeah, we use a close up version of that shot. Mm -mm. See him grab anyone that time. Don't, don't, don't do it, please. No, a little bit lower. Get out of here. You don't understand. Give me a chance to explain, please. I'm sick of listening to your words. But, but, please. Now you Coming at your talky hole. And if I never see you again, it'll be too soon. Now get out of here. But uncool, man. Uncool. Whoop. My footage has been reversed. Oh no, the Yeti's near. Yep, yes, yep. Look for I am the Yeti. Yep, yes, yep. Same shot could only afford the costume. For an hour or two. And there's the footage again. <laughs> they only had one pass at this game. I thought it was a screen, it was ended up being a siren. Run, lady, run! Across the same parking lot, refused for all the other shots. Who's on the job? I don't know. He seems to be crying. Where? Well, he chased a girl near an all-night pharmacy. Let's see. He started here. He asked for some extra-large condoms, and now, a bottle of Dr. Pepper, and a twizzler. Right here, the pharmacy. He's got to be within that triangle. Instruct all units in sectors 15 and 16 to converge at area 11. Right. What's more coffee, Doctor? Yeah. Charlie, you got any more coffee? I drink coffee at a time like this. Get your pig here. Get your hawk of meat. And get your meme pop. Meat, 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 yeti, meat, meat. Wait, what was that? You gotta wear a hairnet, buddy. Are you serious? I'm all hair. Hey. 
Okay, I don't make the rules, I just follow. with the union. Help, He's not please. wearing a hairnet. Why don't you go to bed? It's getting pretty late. Close up on it. Equally hairy. Okay, up. I'll try to check with you later. Goodbye, dear. Thanks, Lieutenant. What's the matter? Now, yeah, now it's just a giant you yet he running around my city? Mm -hmm. so, that's the yes. Head, I'm sure. But that's impossible. We've got that whole area swarming with men. Are you sure, sure? I'm sure one of them is a police officer. Right. What is it? What happened? This whole thing is cockeyed. These are the three areas. Logically, then, the point should be in here. But it isn't. He was just spotted at a meatpacking house way out here. Well, how did he get out of that area? Isn't it covered by the police? That's a $64 question. It's a distance of almost $64, dollars, that's the reason. Yeah, it's been at least there. 70 to get that's good right. intel. There are only two ways that this thing could get around. Walking and flying. He hasn't got wings. Any normal person could hide out at a hotel or any place. This is a white elephant. Any three-year-old child could spot him. The question is, how does he cover seven miles without being seen? It's a sewer. Pennywise and the Yeti both utilize the sewer. Just an idea, Lieutenant, but I think I've got something. What is it? The storm. Media. Oh. I don't get it. Some of those openings are big enough for two men to crawl into. You mean the catch basins? I think you've got something there, Doctor. Chlamydia, I told you. Get me the city engineer at his home. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Edwards. That's it, Edwards. The Department of Public Works is right around the corner. So wake him up. The drainage and sewer system of the city are a lot cooler than the external temperature. I told you the creature had intuitive powers. He could have sensed the colder temperature. And that would explain why he was never seen from jump to jump. It also explains how he knew to get into the sewer. Lieutenant he thought it was a cave. Uh, 4,800 <laughs> miles of storm drains onto this city. We got lots of charts. How about the East End? You're yeah. so, so smug about your charts, everybody. Cigarette? No, thanks. You know, Doctor, there are drains connecting these areas. We've got something to work on. Mm -hmm. There we are, Lieutenant. Yeah, yes, That's put the that area, there. Right? That'll be good. Thank you. There are the spots, Doctor, right along the drain line. Can I take this with me? Yeah. Thanks, Edwards. Sorry to wake you. Well, that's all right, Lieutenant. Think nothing of it. Anything for the police department. That's very nice of you, chart man. Ooh, another hairy arm. Clock. Omega. Now. Richards get eight men, issue the works. It shouldn't be too much. He Walking has three apples, whams, two oranges, and a banana, and he's traveling in Chicago at 140 miles an hour. What time will he get to the office? It's, it's not time for your math homework, Street, Jensen. Where the girl was found. Coast. Dr. Parrish, myself, and a couple of officers will start here at the pharmacy. The first detail will work to the north, the second to the south, and we'll work eastward. The time within the hour, we should all meet right here. Got it? Check. Hurry it up. All right, all right. Well, Lieutenant, can we take a net along? Sure. Hey, Richard, get a big net and some poles to go with it. Right. And uh, leave word where I'll be in case the hospital calls. Yes, Lieutenant. And don't tell him about that grassy knoll sure. thing. Not Oswald, you idiot. Nah, whatever.
You can go down there. You can go down there. Chasing a Yeti in the sewer. I wouldn't crash a crack plot. I wouldn't chase a crackhead down there. Just tetanus. According to plan. Over. How about you, Roberts? Anything happen at your end? Set. Going to bed? Not yet, Lieutenant. No, not yet. Why do you want to get back home? Stay in contact. <laughs> yeah. I lost a tooth. Score of the movie, Johnson. Yeah, this is really low budget. As if the Yeti's got the map. Wind around comes out east entrance eight. I'll have them put the net up at east entrance eight. That's right. You go here, you go here, we'll go around there, and we'll get a touchdown. Ah, that's a Sports Illustrated Johnson. God damn it. I suck at this. Lynch. 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 Put the net up over You won't east believe where I'm calling you from. Eight. I'm calling from the sewer. Right. Loose this collar and take him out into the main tunnel. Come on. Smack him around, tell him he's being a little wuss, tell him to get back to where. I swear we've been down this trip before. Just shut up, keep going.
Say, Doctor. Yeah. I'll have Dr. DuPont give you instructions where to send the body. Come in, car 6 1. Done by another Yeti. Is that you, Lieutenant? Yeah, we just finished the job. What is it? Very urgent call. Proceed immediately to Crescent and Elm. Urgent. Over. Who gave that order? Don't you know what time it is? I don't know, but there's a creature waiting for you. Eight pounds, three ounces. A boy, Lieutenant. Mother and son are doing fine. Oh, it's your baby. Pop. Thanks a lot, Vince. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Al. Well, I guess that's it. Good luck. I guess I better be going. I guess you had. Come on, Doctor. I'll drop you off on the way. Oh, no, Thanks no, for bringing the sure Yeti back and ruining right, my, my night, wife, almost making sure I never get to now. see my son. You son of a bitch. Say, Doctor, what's your first name? Frank. Maybe I'll name my kid Frank. Frank Dunbar. Sounds great. Thanks. I don't know. I'm not too sure I like it. <laughs> so I kill it. Another classic by W. Lee Wilder. We made other movies such as that other one and uh, Nepotism the Musical. You know. Banger after banger after banger from the Wilder clan. Alright, alright. I'll give him a few credits. We pretty much sat through eight minutes of credits at the beginning. Jack Daly, Rusty Westcott, Floyd D. Crosby, Mac V. Red, Fred M. Moore. Jerry, Robert, Lee, Frank, Bill, Dun Dun Set, Mavis Ransom. Not copyright anymore because it's in the public domain. Because someone didn't want it. Ah, delicious. Released by United Artists Corps. That was the Snow Creature from 1954 here on the Late Night Stream. Thank you very much to everyone who joined us live here and on demand later on YouTube and Twitch. If someone hasn't tried to copyright this public domain movie already, I'll be back tomorrow night. We'll be playing some games maybe with the kidlets. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining us on the show. We'll see you next time on the Late Night Stream. I've been Scott Black. Have a good night.